Beloved friends, this is your friend Vendra Diyar. In this early in the morning, I want to recite a poem for you and then really let you know the motive and very purpose of our living on this planet Earth. This poem is very famous, Ozymandias, composed by Shelley, one of the great poets who lived a very short life, just very, very short life, but in this short period, he really made revolution in the poetic world. The poem is very straightforward, but it has a great message which can really reverberate and stimulate your intelligence to the discovery and perception of the truth that a man has to live for others, being very kind, compassionate and generous, living a life of serenity, calmness, always dwelling in the thought of peace, love, non-violence, truth and justice, and making the world full of serenity, peace, and all should be happy. There should not be any pain and suffering in mankind, as was done by Buddha, Buddha the Christ, and the Confucius, and Abraham Lincoln, and so many great spirits who visited the planet Earth. The poem is really very thrilling, and I want to send you the message through this poem, what I will tell you later on. I met a traveler from an antique land who said, to vast and trunkless less of a stone, a stand in the desert. Near them on the sand, half sunk a shattered visage lies, whose frown the wrinkled lips, and sneer of cold command, till its sculpture well those passions read, which yet survive, stamped on these lifeless things, the hand that mocked them, and the heart that fed. And on the pedestal these words appear, My name is Ozymandias, King of kings, look on my works, ye mighty in despair. Nothing besides remains. Round the decay of that colossal wreck, boundless and bare, the lone and the level sense stays far away. Yeah, beloved friends, this is a very sad part of it. This is the really meaning of life. This great, this great king, really who was believing in commanding, ruling with iron rod and when he was no more it was nothing but disappointment, despair, nothing remains around the colossal wreck, boundless and bare, the lone and the level sand stretched far away. So sad, so sad, everything will vanish one day beloved friends. This life is a too short journey. We are on a pilgrimage and we should be taught really the lessons of kindness, compassion. We should really stimulate our wisdom of enlightenment that the life has to be lived in an atmosphere of peace, love and non-violence, truth and justice, caring for everyone, sharing all our wisdom and intelligence so that every person will be really concentrating on the positive mental attitude where there will be optimism, hope and a sense of service towards the entire humanity to see that everyone is having all the abundance and beyond all the reaches the person must have really the wisdom, the peace of mind, the sense of happiness and that is only possible when the person has shed all ignorance, selfishness, all the greed and the person is really understanding the true meaning of life to live happily in a harmonious relationship with the entire humanity, wiping tears from every person, protecting all the environment, saving all the species and creations, all the creatures are the manifestations of God and remembering he breath best who loveth best, all things both great and small, for the dear God who loveth us, he loved and made all. Beloved friends, that should be the true meaning of life. If you go into the history, you will see there have been a lot of greats. One of the greats was Ashoka the Great. Ashoka was a prince who has a great desire, very ambitious to be a world conqueror. And he started conquering, defeating all the neighboring kings. And the last battle what is fought 
was the battle of Kalinga. There he devastated and smashed and massacred all the men. Then remains only women and children, the female children. And when the princess came to fight with that great Ashoka, he surrendered before that and he told, no, no more fighting, no more bloodshed. I really learned the lessons of peace and he became a Buddhist and he sent all three children, his son Mahendra, Kunal and daughter Sangmitra to spread the message of peace, love and non-violence, the concept of Buddhism. Said your unwanted desires, the selfishness, the ignorance, the greed, the anger, the hatred, the envy, the cynicism, and he spread the message of Buddha all around the neighboring countries. Beloved friends, another great was Alexander the Great. I tell you briefly, when he died, he requested the people to let his hand stretch outside his graveyard and let the people know that even the greatest of the great will be going without anything, only his deeds will remain and nothing remain and he will be just nobody. So, beloved friends, the message is very loud and clear. We remain in our Navy, we remain in our noble creations of whatever we have contributed to the society, being an inventor, a scientist, a philosopher, an author, a prophet, which really make people happy, prosperous, live in perfect harmony, without any fight, without any suffering and sorrows and grief. And the root cause of all this is ignorance and greed, selfishness. So if you want that the world is not shadowed by sorrows and never scorching in the fierce fire of suffering, we have to create an environment where the people should be wise, they should understand the life is very short, it is just like a flash of lightning, it is just like a bubble on the surface of the water or like the dew drops in the morning which will disappear in no time, then the person will be very, very careful how to deal with the people, the environment, the system, and then they will know the lessons of peace, prosperity, success, truth, justice, and non-violence. Beloved friends, nothing remains, nothing remains, just the lawn and the level of sand stretch far away. How disappointing, how sad, how emotional it is, you know. Be wise, have love, have respect for the people, be kind, be compassionate, love mankind. I love you. Thank you.